How's everybody doing tonight? I would say that's like a six out of 10. We're looking kind of elevate a little bit tonight. So how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, we were just holding for a few last people, but they're just gonna have to be ridiculed as they walk in late. So um, we're, we're not gonna do that. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, we so appreciate you coming. My name's uh, Matthew Robert. I'm uh, the interim artistic director here and the technical director here. Um, thank you so much for coming out here to our um, April Fool's Improv show. Um, I, I'm, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get right to it. I'd like to introduce Rachel from Valley Improv. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming to my night of slam poetry. Pierre and I are going to talk about our feelings. What, 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 what? April Fool's! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's going to get better from there. So, uh, hi, we're Valley Improv. We've been doing improv improvisation of uh, comedy in the Upper Valley since 2008. A big thank you to Matt, Ashley, Colleen, Big Boy Sweater Club, and Artistry. Woohoo! Woo okay. So, the oh. first half of the show. Uh, can you tell Matt to hit the music? Oh, yeah. Can you tell Matt to hit the music? <laughs> um, <laughs> The first half of the show is going to be us, Valley Improv, and the second half of the show is going to be Big Boy Sweater Club, who you're going to see later, and then we're going to close out the night with one big game with all of us. So what is improv? It basically means that everything you're going to see tonight, except for what I say, is made up on the spot. And since we're going to be making things up on the spot, we need suggestions from you. And even though it's getting warmer outside, I want to take a minute, get you guys more warmed up. So I'm going to ask you some questions. They are going to get harder. So first question, what is your favorite color? Green. 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 All right, a little, we can go a little louder. What is, fuchsia, fuchsia. great, I love it. All right, what is your favorite number? Green. I love it. All right, and who is your favorite superhero? Uh, Chairs, and you are going to tell us where they are. I ask you first, where are these chairs? Awesome. Pennsylvania! All right, these chairs are in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm just working on this quilt. <laughs> where, where's the chocolate? You, you said you were going to bring the chocolate. It's right. Sorry. <laughs> and scene, that is Maggie and Liz. I ask you again, where are these chairs? We can choose non-state suggestions. <laughs> a bus stop. A bus stop. A bus stop in, in Maine. Maine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, huh. I don't think you're going to want to ride this bus because you can't get that from here. I think the bus schedule says I can get there from here. Well, then the bus schedule is wrong. And see, that is Ben and Meg, and I'm learning about main accents for the first time. <laughs> wow. Uh, I heard bakery earlier. Our next suggestion is bakery. In any state you want. <laughs> you really got to need it. I don't want it. But you got to need it. This is all I need. I still don't want it. It looks great, but it's not my thing. It's ours! And see, that is Christine and Pierre. I ask you again, where are these chairs? The moon. The moon, all right, on the moon. Are you sure the oxygen line is connected? Yeah, 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 keep going. Keep going, you're doing Ooh. great. I can see Alaska from here. Sure you can, Keith. Get in, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh. And see, that is Mo, Meg, and a rear turn. Good, it's a harsh mistress. Great, so we strike this chair. Our next game is called Moving Bodies. We need two volunteers to come up on stage. Two volunteers, raise your hand if you want to come up on stage. It doesn't hurt. It's not scary. Yes, you can come on up. We need one more volunteer to come up on stage. Yes, come on down. Oh, wait, yes. <laughs> nope, you're good. Yeah, you're oh, good. Yeah, come okay. on down, okay. All right, great. So, what's your name? Dave. Dave, and what's your name? Cinder. Cinder, all right, we have Dave and Cinder. Let's give a round of applause for Dave and Cinder. Awesome. All right, so you can go. Actually, you should go. I'm 
Yeah, very tall. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll beat Maggie. Um, all right, great. So Ben, in this game, Ben and Meg are going to be the personal Gumbies of Dave and Cinder. So what that means is Ben and Meg cannot move at all unless Dave or Cinder move them. So they can talk, but they have to stay perfectly still. Um, so while they're doing that, they're learning how to get them to move. Um, I'm going to need a suggestion of an animal you think is funny. What is an animal you think is funny? Sloth. Sloth. And giraffe is the other one? Aardvark, sloth, giraffe. OK. All right, so again, Ben and Meg cannot move unless Dave right, or Cedar move them. Cinder. 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 All right, we're ready? And your suggestion is sloth. Go. Daddy, I want one. I know, I know, you keep saying you want the sloth, Daddy. but they're just too gosh darn slow. They're so cute though, look at them, I love them Yeah, but so they, don't, they don't move. We live in a fast paced society. It's all about hustle, 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 hustle. And sloths have no place in our household. But Daddy, if you, if you, if you learn the ways of the sloth, then you live a more balanced lifestyle, and that's what I want. Oh. Um, sweetie, sweetie, I just, I think that, I think it's time for you to think about an American animal, like a bald eagle. Daddy. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But think of how they flap their wings. How dare you? They flap their wings Dis like this. They're so, yeah, see, I Daddy. Don't wanna flap them. Yeah, I don't wanna you wanna flap your wings. No, I wanna You're snuggle. Feeling. I want a little snuggle, little baby that. <laughs> okay, tell you what, I'll get you one sloth and one bald eagle, and we'll see what happens. Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> called New Choice, and I need uh, Megan Rachel on stage. They are going to create a scene, but I'm going to direct the scene, and every time I say the word ding, they're going to have to say something different than the last line they just said, okay? And it's erased. I love orange yeah. juice. Ding. I hate orange juice. Ding. I want apple juice. Yay. Um, <laughs> Do you want a chair? Yes, I'll take cool. a chair. So I need a suggestion from you guys. What's one place that you hate going? <laughs> the dentist. Do you, do you want chair? <laughs> um, am I gonna have any teeth at the end of this? Did you specify when you made the appointment that you wanted teeth by the end? Ding. <laughs> Your teeth look like. Great, like I want them. You Ding. know, like I wish I had your teeth. <laughs> you're, no, you're not going to have your teeth at the end of this. That's what I was hoping for. It's a relief. Yeah, you want to get so, rid of all your teeth? Uh-huh. Okay, that's great. That's the plan. So. I first, when I called, I asked if they could turn them blue. Ding. And they said, I asked if they could turn them purple. Ding. I asked if they could make me a walrus tusk out of all my teeth. <laughs> yeah. And they yeah. said no. And if I can't have a walrus tusk, I don't want teeth. Yeah, I can't make you like a... Functional walrus teeth. Ding. I, I could make you a functional walrus. Ding. Teeth. I specialize in functional <laughs> walrus teeth. So I can't believe that they. So was said I that not good you. enough? Oh. Why did they not give me the walrus tusk? I called. I said, please. Yeah, you have to pass a series of tests that they don't tell you about before. But uh, like, look at how high I can jump. Ding. Uh. Look at how low I can jump. Ding. I, I'm learning how to swim. <laughs> swim, but um, well, I'm sure those are great skills that will serve you later on in life, and I'm really <laughs> glad that you have them. So, Ding. Um, you seem <laughs> to think that that's impressive. Um, <laughs> well, I have to disagree. You have two stars on Yelp. You seem to think that's impressive. Ding. You have five stars on Yelp. That's really impressive. Ding. <laughs> I've never been to Yelp.com. Can you help me use the internet? I can't help you use the internet, but I can. So what can you do? No walrus I can tusks. give you walrus tusks. You can't? Ding. Yeah. You can't? Ding. Are you sure? <laughs> Antsy. <laughs> As I alluded to earlier, 
Our next game is called Never Foreseen. I need Liz, Maggie, and Pierre up on stage. They are going to come up with a game on the spot. It is a game that has never been seen before. It has never been seen, will never be seen again, unless it's really good. I don't know, we'll see. So, I need a suggestion. What is a recent movie that you have seen? The Whale. The Whale, and who? Star Wars. Okay, yeah, Star Wars. And who is the whale? Okay, we do the whale. No, Star Wars, whatever. We're doing the whale. So, who is the main character in the whale? Alright, so we have W for whale, B for Brendan Fraser. So, Maggie, Pierre, and Liz are gonna come up with a game that starts with W, B. My game is called Whaling Balling. <laughs> Both, so it's gonna be a scene with two people. And they can either whale their lines or they can ball their lines. <laughs> you get to decide if they're not doing their job. Whaling balling. My game is called Whatever Bud. Um, the two improvisers kind of get in a fight. And then when one improviser uh, says a joke at the other one, the other responds, Whatever, bud. <laughs> Uh, my game, uh, never before seen, is called Winston Ball, and Winston Ball is a combination, um, a bit of a smoking game while playing racquetball. So, um, cigarettes from the Winston-Salem region, uh, the aromatic bouquet of that tobacco while playing, usually a court-based ball game. So. <laughs> Winston Ball. Is that, is that how you wanted that spelled, or no. is it W-A-I-L? Okay, W-A-I-L. Yeah, W-A-N-B-A-W-L. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, it's fine. <laughs> they all... So we're gonna keep moving. Okay. So you guys are gonna vote by clapping for the game you wanna see. So who wants to see Whatever Bud? Yeah! All right, who wants to see Wailing Balling spelled either way? <laughs> <laughs> and who wants to see Winston Ball? Yeah. All right, it's between these two. Let's only vote once. Uh, Whaling So these two uh, characters are going to create a scene, and their only their only way of conveying their lines is through wailing or bawling. Um, you get to decide if somebody's not doing their job. You can boo, and then they'll have to up their game a little bit. All right. What does wailing mean? Oh. <laughs> so I need. Um, uh, what's the what kind of vegetable do you hate to eat? Zucchini. Asparagus. So your suggestion is asparagus. Oh my god, the asparagus makes my pee smell funny. <laughs> Caroline, you, you said you were going to eat it. We talked about this. You said you wouldn't eat the broccoli. You wouldn't eat the collard greens. <laughs> but you said you would eat the asparagus. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that was too late, and I've, I've ruined our wedding night. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I picked out the green because it's my favorite color. Oh, I'm so, oh my God, what are we going to do? We're going to have to get an annulment. We can't possibly go on. Let's just go over the falls. Boo. <laughs> when we got engaged, you said we would never get a note and you would always eat asparagus. I'm so sorry. I, I don't understand. I thought that the asparagus was odor-free in New York. I know. I know it is. It and is. they make everything else on. flavorless and drab and horrible. <laughs> everything New York is like... <laughs> insane. <laughs> You see whaling balling in the future, starting here. <laughs> um, for our next game, we need Ben, Christine, Mo, and Pierre on the stage. They're going to perform a scene, and then I'm going to explain the game. What is a problem that a repair person could fix? Toilet. 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 Again. We always get toilets. We get toilets a lot. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. That's good. What's another problem a repair person could fix? Oh yeah, that's good. All right, washing machine full of water. It's your suggestion. Okay. We gotta get this soap up. Oh, it just slipped. I can only hold the water in so long. You know? Okay, kids, kids, kids. I think we're just gonna have to reflect on the fact that we're gonna have dirty clothes for the rest of the rest of the season. That sounds good to me. Okay. Awesome. So Bob, you can wear Clarissa's clothes. Clarissa, you can wear Peter's clothes. And Peter, you can wear Bob's clothes. And then it'll be like nothing happened. I think that's great. It'll be like no one's wearing anything? Yes. 
Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so apparently I've been told oh by, by the old people. By, by my I've actually grandfather seen it. that there's a movie called Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah, Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> no, okay, and wow, tough crowd. Right. Weekend at Bernie's, a quick Google search just told me that Weekend at Bernie's, uh, these people want to have a party at this guy Bernie's house, but he's dead. So mm -hmm. they make pretend he's alive and prop him up and have their party that weekend at Bernie's. Um, and they put sunglasses. And they put sunglasses on him to make everybody think that he's alive. So one of these actors is going to play dead and redo the scene. Is this? Should it be Christine? You vote by clapping. <laughs> Pierre. Ben. Mo. That was tough. That was tough. All right, we're doing it again. Only vote once. Vote by clapping. I think it's between Ben and Mo. Okay. Ben. Mo. Ben. Sorry, I did not expect that. All right. I can only hold the water in for so long. Woof! I slipped! Oh! Ah! Uh, something! Oh, we no, don't wear clothes! Ah, uh, do you wear that person's clothes? Do you wear that clothes? Sorry, kids! No clothes! You mean you don't have to wear anything? Yes! Oh. <laughs> All right, and there was a weekend at Bernie's too, so we're gonna do this again. Vote once for who you think should play dead. Should it be Mo? Yeah. Christine. All right, Christine. Oh my goodness, there's so much water. We gotta get this oh, thing. Oh no, fixed. so much water. Oh, look, I can swim in it. I can only hold the water for so long. Oh, Ben, oh. you can wear these clothes and those clothes. Oh, I'm sorry. No clothes! Yes! yes. No! <laughs> All right, SD. <laughs> and there is not a weekend at Bernie's 3, not until Hollywood answers my fan email. So we're going to do, do it one more time. Should Mo play dead? Yeah. <laughs> or should Pierre play dead? too familiar with paddle ball, or pickleball, pickleball. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, is it the scale of the net, is it like table tennis or is it like tennis tennis? It's like right in between. It's okay. about half the size of a tennis court, approximately. Okay. The net is lower. 
So who did you play pickleball with today? Rick and Robin. Are they friends of yours? I just met them through pickleball recently. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> How long have you been playing pickleball? Uh, well, I started about seven years ago in Florida, but I only played a couple weeks a year. But a couple years ago, Bill Corson in town here and Bob started a group. So great. now I play all the time. Okay, so pickleball sounds like a big part of the day. How did your day start? Well, like it usually starts, I wake up, my boyfriend and another person and I all have competitive wordle. Oh, <laughs> how, how to go today so without well. spoilers. Don't worry, without spoilers, how to go today. <laughs> well, I won one and I was second in the other. So how is competitive wordle? I've only done the one. Well, you know, you, you say, oh, well, I did it in three. Oh, uh, well, okay. I, you know, all right. I had a bad guess. I did something wrong. Great. <laughs> all right, so you started off competitive wordle. You did well in one, not so well in the other. <laughs> Where'd you go from there? Breakfast. Breakfast? What'd you have? I don't know why this is entertaining, but... <laughs> <laughs> it will be! If it's entertaining. It will be! <laughs> uh, oatmeal. We appreciate you. Yeah, I had oatmeal with Great. dried cranberries, dried cherries, dried blueberries, Great. banana, blackberries, mm -hmm. maple yeah. syrup, and walnuts. Yum. All right. Yum. Um, is there anything else about your day, Wordle, Pickleball, breakfast that you want to share? I don't want to keep asking you super... Uh, well, I came to be the usher here tonight, and here I am. Great. Well, thanks for being. And so you're an usher here. So do you volunteer here? Yes. For other things as well. Yeah. What's a memorable show you've been here for? Well, I was in one last summer. Oh, what was the that show? That was pretty memorable. Hey, my name is Alice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Great. Very fun. Well, thank you for being I here. I can do a cool. number from it if you'd like. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so now we have Ben here who's been taking notes on yes. the interview and he's going to give us a recap. Okay, so this is Lori. Did I get that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, she, uh, she had a fun but not necessarily very noteworthy day. Um, a, lot, uh, a lot of our discussion about the day involved pickleball, which is the greatest game. It is. Um, you hit a ball over the net and it's very laid back, very fun. Um, and she tried a new paddle and she got a new pal. Um, and pickleball court is about half the size of a tennis court. Um, she played with Rick and Robin, who uh, this I just, met. just met through pickleball. Saturday. Um, and she's been playing seven years, but usually it was just a few weeks ago until Bill and Bob. Is that Bill right? Bill and Bob, yeah. Bill and Bob started a, a league, right? Um, and so that was one of the things she did today. But the day started. Uh, when she woke up and immediately played competitive Wordle with her boyfriend and somebody else. Um, she won one of the games and played second in the other. Um, then she had breakfast, which was oatmeal, cranberries, cherries, maple syrup, walnuts, and some other things that I missed. Um, and then uh, eventually she came here to usher this show. So thank you very much for your service. Thank you. Anything we missed? Oh, what? No, no, no. And then um, she's been in a, um, she's ushered a lot of shows here, but she was also in a show. My name is Alice, but her name is Lori. So Alice, Lori, Lori, Alice. Okay. Great. Is that Anything it? Else? That's yeah. all I have to do. All right. Yay! Okay, so... Now, yeah. we're going to do a scene, or a series of scenes, based on Lori's day. Hey, baby. <coughs> hey, babe. So I tried, like, far... Yes! <laughs> Darns. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I'm at five, and I have nothing. You have... All right, I, I guess, stink. I guess no! you will. <laughs> Uh, app. It's called Pickleball Tinder. I've got this. <laughs> and Bob and Rick and Rich. Whoa. I know. Right? Hey, you want to play pickleball later? I love to play pickleball. I'll see you then. Like, uh, yeah. Sack of dried fruit. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm starving. Hey, you mind if I watch you eat your breakfast? <laughs> you seem to <okay. laughs> When are you guys gonna get a net? I'm really tired of this. Hey, 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 I got some pickleball paddles. Hey, for you. Hey. Try them out. I got oh, wow. nice sizes wow. here. That's not street legal, is it? <laughs> Lori, 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 I, I don't, I don't know if we can trust this pickleball paddle vendor here. I mean, I'm your new pal. 
and I don't, I don't. I appreciate uh, you. I mean, we all just met this I'm just morning. curious about. Yeah. Like, I'm her new pal. Yeah. He's on my side. <laughs> Make sure you project, all right? I'll project. My name is, my name is Alex. <laughs> no, project. <laughs> project. You can't be like the usher. You can't. This, not, this is your seat. No, it's not like ushering. Project. God. Oh, God. OK. My. Project. My. 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 Hi, uh, I'm the Alice understudy. Do you need me now? No. Yes. Uh, See ya. <laughs> My. My! <laughs> Thank you. No, I think you were great in that show. I didn't even know you then, but I just, I was so impressed with the artwork, and I can't believe they cut you in the intermission and put that understudy on. It was terrible. It was before your best song. That's what I'm saying. And so I just want you to sing it to me now. You want me to sing you? I, I want you to sing it to me now. <laughs> My name. <laughs> Usher, excuse me. Oh, Where yeah. are my sets? Oh, they're right this way. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to the Pickleball Conference. It is the fastest growing sport in America. Yes! Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have Pickleball, we have pickleball. pickleball yeah. celebrity here, Lori. Yeah! yeah. 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 I'm her pal. Yeah. Are yeah. we? Yeah, thank you, pal. Thanks, we need that. You're the girl. All right, Lori. Where's Rich? Where's Robin? I'm Robin. I'm there here. You. Okay. You don't remember my name? I'm Rich. I'm Bob. You're doing I'm your great. pal. I'm Bill. Sorry, Rich. I knew. <laughs> You're doing great. Keep it up. You're doing great. Keep it up. We're all doing great. Keep it up. And serve. And we're off. And <laughs> see. Now, <laughs> Lori, is that how it happened? <laughs> Great. So, it is now intermission. Um, yes. So you have a few minutes to stretch your legs and reflect on the improv you just saw. Google pickleball, you know, you got some options. Uh, this is also another opportunity to make suggestions for the show. So we're going to pull a stool out here. We're going to put the hat on a stool. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, Pierre and I are going to pass out papers, uh, Liz as well. So we're, we're looking for suggestions for our last game, Party Quirks, thank you, which is the game that we are going to be playing with Big Boy Sweater Club. Um, and in that game, Ben and Colleen, who you haven't met yet, are going to be hosting a party and they are going to be guessing the identity of the people at their party. So the people at the party are going to be a person with a quirk. So you need to suggest the guests. We're going to give you two pieces of paper each, and the first thing you're going to suggest on one piece of paper is a person. So think of celebrities, historical figures, fictional characters, anyone who's well known. And then on the <coughs> second piece of paper, keep the paper separate, you are going to ask unusual things about people. So tap dances everywhere, only says words that start with the letter S. So you could say George Washington on one paper, and then tap dances everywhere on the other paper. So does that make sense? A person and then something unusual about a person. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want to see more nods or shake of heads. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Um, so we're going to pass around papers and pens, and then when you have your suggestion, bring it down and put it in the hat. I'll also walk around and grab them. If you're up top and someone in your row is going, maybe be a friend and offer to take other people's papers down. That would be kind. And then also. And also we have our email newsletter up here. If you'd like to sign up, we're going to put a pen here. We send pretty infrequent emails. We won't spam your inbox. So emails if you want it and suggestions over there. Intermission will be 15 minutes, so we'll come back a little before. And there seven. are refreshments in the lobby. Yes, there are refreshments in the lobby. Yes. If you want them. Yes. We'll be back at 7.55. Great. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thank you everyone for coming out. Uh, can we have another big round of applause for Valley Improv? Had a great time before us. And, uh, and uh, a big thanks to Artistry for having us up here tonight. It's uh, a great place to be out here. So 
We are the Big Boy Sweater Club. I'm Chris. I'm Colleen. I'm Megan. I'm Danny. I'm Heather. That's all of them. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to do a uh, long form improv for you tonight, which is kind of like what you just saw, only the scenes will be a little bit longer. And rather than stopping in between, we're just going to be jumping from scene to scene. Uh, we're going to get one suggestion to start off with, and then we're just going to go from there and see where it takes us. Um, the scenes, uh, the scenes might be connected to each other, but they might not. You might see characters come back, you might not. Uh, as soon as we decide, you will literally be the first to know. Um, and the, and uh, the only th other thing to remember is sometimes when we come to the end of a scene, uh, someone will just run, run across the stage like this, or the sweep around like that. That means the, the scene is over, we're wiping everything off, we're starting from a, a fresh blank page, and... Uh, That'll bring us into the next section. And we'll just keep doing that for like 15 minutes, speaking of which. Uh, so to start us off, can I please get a one-word suggestion from anyone? Any one yeah. word? Third wheel. Third wheel. That's one word. All right. All right. Uh, so <laughs> third wheel. Yeah, uh, third wheel um, kind of makes me think about when um, right after college I moved to Brooklyn with my now husband and our best shared best friend. And um, he was a little bit of a third wheel for a long time. Like every time, you know, we'd go out and he'd be like, oh, uh, uh, can I come with you guys? <laughs> and we're like, all right, Mike, you can come with us. And then um, like five years into us living in New York, he met a really nice gal. And she was so cool, I wanted to be her best friend. And I'd be like, hey, guys. <laughs> kind of like, hang out with you. And I successfully turned her into my best friend. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So were you then the third wheel for them? Or did you all go out together? We all, we came like a four, we came like a little car. Yeah. 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 That's all all combined, it's like a six wheel situation. Wheel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we um, turned into a right size vehicle. Yeah, a mid, mid size sedan, I would say. What, what mid size was, sedan of friendship. Yes. <laughs> what, what was cool about her? Like, what, what drew you in to wanting to be? be uh, I think. I mean, the first thing I liked about her was when they first they met on Tinder, and then um, a couple weeks into them dating, she found me on Facebook and messaged me before we ever met, and was like, "Hey, I really like him. I want to send him a really cool gift. What is he like?" And I was like, "Oh my God, you are cool. You're already doing detective work." And I just, you know, she's that kind of like she's a detective, and I was like, "I would like to be a detective." <laughs> so, uh, she just had a vibe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that um, anyone else? Yeah, I, I have a third yeah, yeah, yeah. wheel. Um, so when I was uh, starting to uh, see my current partner, um, we had we had gone. We were still very early stages. Like we knew each other before, but like we were still getting to know each other. And we went on this like date. We went like, mini golfing, and I wasn't quite sure if it was a date. Um, I was like, we were just friends. We were just hanging out. And so we did mini golf, and then we like walked. Uh, Burlington has like a waterfront, so we like walked. We got we got ice cream, creamies. Once you're Vermont, walking down the waterfront, I can say that. I can say creamies, and you know what I mean. So I'm gonna say creamies. And we were walking by the waterfront, and we sat down on like these these cute little like swingy benches. I'm like, oh my god, I think I think this is a date. This is amazing. And then <laughs> they, a friend of theirs walked by. And they were like, oh my god, hey! And like, it was almost as if it was like a huge relief that someone else had walked by. And so this person came and they joined us and we hung out for like a, they hung out for a very long time. And so by the end of it, I was like, oh, it's not a date. It's a three rule. But it's come to find out when I was like admitting this later, it was indeed a date. Yeah. And they had panicked because they were nervous. So they invited their friend to come and sit down. So we were all like third wheel each other. There were like multi third wheels going on. Yeah, yeah, you gotta keep other people around. To like keep the tension, sure. like loosen the tension. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Long, long happy relationship yeah. sense. So it all happy ending. There's right. <laughs> Okay, we're good? Yeah. So, all right, so now we're going to improvise a series of scenes loosely based on what we just talked about. You're taking this pretty seriously. Oh, I take, yeah, I miniature golf, I take it very seriously. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I see that Janine is about to put into the windmill. Oh, oh bold move. Oh, bold. Uh, the wind uh, from the west. From the west. Okay. She lines it up. Are you? Are you breathing? 
I heard you breathe. I, I'm trying not to. Please, I need, I need focus. I need sorry, focus. Sorry. You're making the windmill move. It's going to mess me up. I think that's a red card. I think it's a red card oh, from the referee. Yeah, we need referee from the right. Thank you. Yes! I did it! I did it! I did it! She's stuck! A hole in eight! Yes! She has finally beaten the her own fat You only should compete against yourself. Right, real sad here, folks. Right, right. You are your own winner in the year. Yes, what a miracle we have seen. Can I try now? All right. See what you got. Uh, the date or, or, or friend situation mm -hmm. is um, setting up. Uh, need a little more. Bring it back a little bit. There you go. Am I doing it right now? Yep, right. go ahead. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Go, go on. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God, sorry, something in my throat. I did, I'm not bothering you, am I? Uh, I mean... No, you're yeah, fine. You're it's too fine. late now. Um, how are we, Jeff? How do you expect us to be partners on the miniature golf grand tournament coming up next week at the kindergarten? Oh, wait, did you guys? Did you guys say you're partners? Because I've been I've been looking to to start like a three person team. Maybe I could be. A... <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. <laughs> As your vice president, I, I should let you know that um, we're uh, having a national waffle shortage. <laughs> oh, God. How, how could this happen? I put you in charge of the waffles. I trusted you. As you, you, sh you should. I, I just, uh, you know, you only gave me one job, and then I wasn't really paying that close of attention to it. Because who would have found waffles? Our nation. Right, it's the foundational block of our country, the waffle. I'm actually, you know, I wanted to run something by you. Um, I'm thinking of making it our new currency. <laughs> yeah. But we're, out, we're literally out of it. So there's. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! What are we gonna do? I already told them to stop printing money and, and hire all those bakers. We, we got a bunch of Nesquik, a uh, Bisquik, and Nesquik, because you need a delicious chocolate beverage along with your waffle. We cut to the mint. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, you put me in charge of the waffles. I got hungry. Let's just keep, we let, where are we gonna get, this was just our test batch. Where are we gonna get the Bisquick and Nesquick that we subsequently need? Is there a Nesquick shortage too? I don't, I don't know, man, okay, this is what happens when they let kids vote. <laughs> now, 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 look everyone, calm down, calm down. We don't need a bank on our we have plenty of waffles. We just need to just need to wait until we have waffles ready for withdrawal, oh, and then there'll be enough waffles, waffles for everyone. two hours. I know, I know. We just we just don't want to panic. Look, we, we don't want we don't want to bankrupt. We don't want to want to bring the whole system down. I burned all of my money when you said that we're gonna have waffles. Okay, now yeah. I I didn't say to burn your money. I said there would be waffles. It was but, implied. It was I, implied. Okay, maybe I maybe I could be more clear. I had a 20% off Bed Bath & Beyond coupon, and I bought a waffle iron specifically for this big moment. Okay, okay, look, so we do have, we have a limited supply of waffles. I had so much Kohl's cash, you have no idea! Okay, well, I don't think What about the Kohl's all the syrup? Uh, 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 what about pancakes? Oh, God. Pancakes? I, look, I'm, I'm, we're, we're doing Pancake what I can. There's an, there's an international house of pancakes right across the street. They might be able to cover some of the shortage from the waffles. The transaction fees alone. I, it, it, is, it is pretty rough. I don't really go over It'll put me in debt. Okay, so look. We have two waffles left, and they go to whoever... I mean, I should get both of them. Clearly. Wait, I'm really good at tap dancing. I think that I should get both of the waffles. No one should have two waffles until everyone has one. Okay, I'm intrigued by the tap dancing thing. Let's see if that goes. Um, 
so I understand you're both detectives. <laughs> yes, yes we are. Yep. Great. Uh, now naturally I can only hire one of you. So whoever does the best detecting will get the job. Well, I'm already critiquing your um, presentation of needing one of us for the job. Oh, excellent, excellent. I notice you have hands. <laughs> <laughs> need, I, need I say more? <laughs> Brilliant insight from Jerome. <laughs> I noticed you changed your tone when you looked at me just now and said that. Hmm. How, can you top that, though? Mm. <laughs> I notice that you're, you have a nose and that you use it for smelling. Hey, that's true. I do use this no the nose for smelling. Need I say more? Oh Should my I? god, there's a dead body on the floor! Did no one else notice this? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and are, then are, you're are, wrong that? Aren't you aren't you detectives? Isn't it what isn't this what you're here for? Well, we're trying to get hired for the job. I I don't want to start. I'm not paying for the work I, before I, we give I I really the said paperwork. We, we really needed to find someone who can see the dead body when they enter the room. I'm not dead dead yet! Just, quiet, quiet, we're we'll trying to solve the mystery. <laughs> No, we, we can't solve this mystery until we have the paperwork filed. Like, oh, it's just... He's trying to hire one of us. Ooh, can you wait for paperwork? Come oh. on, can you, can you be a little bit more considerate here? Oh no, I'm bleeding out. It's, I just got stabbed You really need to kidney. work on your negative attitude, but we'll get back to you. So great that the three of us could go on this date together, huh? <laughs> Say, you don't mind that I came along, do you? Well, I don't see that we have a choice now. No, you don't. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like you could be, you're, you're winding a little bit fast. It's going to scare the fish. Thank you so much. Sure, I don't mean to be a bother. Oh, gosh, what a lovely day it would have been. Yeah, what do you mean would have been? The weather's beautiful. I don't see, I don't see, I, I, I you're going to make the fish not come on the line if you keep talking. No, you'll catch one any minute, won't you? Have you caught any yet? Clearly no. Probably because I haven't been talking enough, right? Uh, George. So look. George, we need to, to tell you something. We do. You've, um, oh. we've been friends a long time now. And for a while it was fun. It was so much fun. We were all hanging out in college. They called oh, us yeah. like three amigos. Right. Three whoa, whoa. Amigos. But then Are... we started making out at the parties and Yeah, yeah, that was great. That, that, was, yeah. That, that, that was an exciting time to be part of this relationship. Yes. Uh, I, I imagine someday I can make out with one of you. Uh, no, no, that's no, not going to happen. No, oh. no, that's not going to no, happen. No. Wait, you're We're engaged. You're not engaged. We're engaged. You're engaged to People. whom? Each other. Each other. But I didn't get a ring. No. That's the point. George, that's what we brought you on this fishing trip to tell you. Wait a minute. Are you breaking up with me? We, we were never in a three-way relationship. We were friends. Oh, how is that worse? We are gathered here today to celebrate these two lovebirds. Three, three lovebirds. <laughs> right? Right? Could we? No. I, I, I figured maybe if I showed up on the day, you, you would change your mind on the. Just go ahead. Just, just like should, should the, I the same vows except fifty percent more. Should, uh, <laughs> Just the two, please. Just the, just the two. I, okay, yes. so once again, this is... <laughs> Road trip! Hell yeah! <laughs> so oh. excited. Dude. Oh, dude. 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 Uh, man. Does Tommy have to come with us, though? Did someone say road trip? <laughs> yeah, man! <laughs> I, I, did, I did lose a bet with him. Yeah! That everywhere I go, he does have to go, too. Yeah, so right on! Really, I don't know who won or lost this bet. We cut back to that bet making. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. 
Why don't you tell your guidance counselor what's bothering you? Yeah, I mean, like, like nothing. <laughs> I don't know, Tommy. You seem a little bothered. No, I don't. Is it because you don't have enough friends? No, it's... Is it because you have too many friends? Is it because I'm yeah. not one of your friends? Your guidance counselor, probably the coolest guy Ooh, you know? Uh, uh, definitely not the coolest guy you know. Oh, you're being, you're being modest, but I know you don't mean it. I am way cooler than you. Oh, hey, it's me, the high school quarterback, just swinging by the guidance counselor's office. Oh, uh, what up, you what up? You hey, hey. <laughs> Good kid. Really good kid. Very popular kid in this school. You must be friends with him, right? He, he's just not quite, uh, cool enough for me. Yeah, that's what's happening here. <laughs> so, uh, Tom. Hey, Mr. Guidance Counselor. Hey. <laughs> I'm the most popular girl on the uh, cheerleading hey, team. Going. Yep. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. It's great to see you. That's just Tommy. You don't have to. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Tommy. I just kind of feel like nobody likes me. You know, I feel the same way a lot of the time. Hey, guidance counselor, I just got your car all waxed and hey, washed. Hey, great to hear it, babe. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, tell me about all of your friends. I'm sure they'll be passing through any minute now. Yeah. Um. Uh, you do have friends, right, Tommy? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Can I give you advice on making friends? I mean, I don't. I Be a guidance counselor. <laughs> hey, it's us, the three amigos. <laughs> See, I have three whole friends, Tommy. Actually, and you... we're here for him. Hey. Well, and that's our first set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's our first set. We're doing one more. Oh, okay, hold on, right away. <laughs> Get off the stage, man. <laughs> Be continued immediately. <laughs> um, all right, so. Uh, we're going to start this one a little bit different. Um, it is April Fool's Day. We want to hear from someone in the audience um, of a prank that you've played, that someone's played on you, one that you heard of that you really liked. Um, does anyone have one? If you can, just like rip, pop your hand in the air, wave it around like you just don't care. Whoop. Any good pranks? Any good pranks? pranks? Oh, good. You there. Uh, in college, we screwed, we outscrewed um, my roommate's door. Yeah. Sure. And then he, you know, we filmed him coming back in class, and then like he tried to open the door, and then he just fell right through. Yeah. <laughs> was this your roommate? So this is also your door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you gotta take one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> your doormate. Your doormate. Okay. All right. It's cool. So unscrewed in the door, kind of pop. Who's the? What's the roommate's name? This is Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, classic Ryan. <laughs> uh, great, thank you. Anyone else have a have a prank that's been played on them? That um, the other hands. I think I saw one. Sorry. Ketchup in the coffee maker. Ketchup. What? <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> Where are you putting it? Is the ketchup the liquid or the solid? Where are you putting it? Uh, uh, I don't know. My dad when he drinks coffee. My yeah. sister. Um, like, Did he fall for it? Uh, well, no, because the thing didn't work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so just you always do a test first. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it was coffee. It was slightly like ketchup. Well, actually, a lot like slightly. Ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ketchup flavored coffee. All right, great, cool. Anyone? Anyone? Anyway, one more? <laughs> yes, over here. Saran wrap over the toilet bowl. No! Did that get played on you, or did, were you the pranker or the pranky? Uh, pranker. You pranked? Did yep, it? Who did you? Who did you prank on? It was in the dorms, and I wasn't around. You weren't around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it worked out. But you just heard, heard there's like rumors going around yes, about somebody did. Such someone a thing. did such a thing. Wow, great, cool, some great, great pranks. <laughs> All right, and you got away with it until you confessed just now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not on film. So. There we yeah. go. <laughs> but we have audio of it, Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a whole long ruse, your dorm. <laughs> what, what dorm were you in? Uh, Alexander. What, you keep giving information? <laughs> <laughs> That's 93. In 98. <laughs> All right, great. So we're going to do another set um, based off these. Yeah, great. 
Hey, it's the FBI. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, come in, come in. Sorry, I was just uh, making a sandwich. Yeah, I know, I've been watching you for years. <laughs> uh, are you just, is this just like a courtesy visit? Oh, no. Are you, can, I, can I help you with anything? Yeah, you know what you did. I guess is. I knew that was going to catch up with me one day. Yeah. Look, I don't know where the book is, but if I knew where it was, I would return it to the library immediately. I promise. That's what they all say. Book thieves, you think it's just free? It's not free. The library is bought and paid for by the taxpayers. But it literally says the free library. That's just the a name. It's an expression. It's just like... I find the defendant guilty of stealing library books and sentence you to... Let's say 30 years, 30 years is a nice round number. 30 years in the state penitentiary. Do you have anything to say for yourself? No? Good, all right, moving on. What'd you hear for? Just picking up my dog's poop and putting it in a plastic bag, but then just leaving it on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't return yeah. a library book. What? <laughs> Listen, my thing is just mildly inconvenience as a neighborhood. A library book, it's, we people, tr we trust the library, man. We are trusted with those books. If I don't return a library book, what else might I do? I don't know. You need to do something crazy. Uh, you got crazy eyes. I bet you've done a million things in your life besides <laughs> <I've>, that. <laughs> uh, Yes, sir. Um, your DVD is late being returned, so we're going to have to charge you a fee. Uh, and also, since it's been more than two weeks late, there are going to be some criminal charges. <laughs> what? I just, I couldn't find Um, this postage stamp looks like you took it off of a, another letter and just taped it on <laughs> at the post office. We take this very seriously. Um, it appears on the camera that you selected zero bags, but in fact, you did take a paper bag from the self-checkout. <laughs> I love coffee, I love tea, I love the Java job, and it loves me a cup of... What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Put on my socks and oh my god, my socks are full of ketchup. This is horrific. Who done this to me? You're welcome. Actually, it's a very good natural exfoliant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just about to bite into this burger. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it more delicious. <laughs> All right, well, we're just gonna cut your brain open. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I just want to make sure you know, uh, before you get home, um, no more doors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is, uh, was there a, a problem? Uh, or, aesthetics. Uh, aesthetics. Yeah. We're going for a no-door aesthetic. Yes. Okay. Uh, it just, I felt like I was being cramped. There were too many things getting in my way. Right. And you felt you like you wanted to explain this to me before you let me go in the house so I would be ready for... The shock. I was just really excited about it, honestly. Okay. I just wanted to talk about it. Okay. I, well, can I, so I, I, I see that the door is missing. It's, um, but the thing is, it's not just this one. It's every door. It's every door. <laughs> Bathroom door? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Um, okay, so what about, so where did the doors all go? I feel like oh. you haven't thought this through fully. 
just gonna open your brain. <laughs> freshman year. I know, Lisa, I, we've been waiting for this for so long. I'm glad it finally happened. Yeah, I'm really excited, roomies. Can't wait for the three of us to be rooming together all semester. We talked about this, right? This, we planned this? I feel, like, I feel like I talked about this to someone. Was yeah, it one of you? They actually said that we were going to be in a double. Oh. This is, you're, so the fourth so, triple? Is this is what's going on? Uh, well, if the two of you count as one and I count as one, that just makes two total. So maybe we can fudge the numbers. Right? Right, come here, bring it in, bring it in, fudge the numbers, roommates all together. I just feel so, like... So, uh, which of you am I sharing a bed with? Um, you know, why don't we share a bed? Okay. Oh. I see how it is. Just because I'm not invited and I'm technically not supposed to be living here, I, I don't get my pick of the beds. Yeah, you don't actually, didn't get into college. <laughs> right, right, we're getting, we're getting technical now. <laughs> So, got like five extra things of saran wrap here. I'm listening. <laughs> no, I'm out of ideas. I've, I'm pranked out. I've done uh, a saran wrap uh, Joey's desk. Classic. I put uh, stacks of quarters everywhere in Marco's room. Bold. <laughs> 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 Kevin, just we'll, Kevin, we'll let you out in a second. We're just we're brainstorming here, okay, man? Like, just like one minute. Just hold. You can hold your breath that long. Hey, I'm, you, hey did one of you guys put Saran wrap on the TV? Because I can still see the TV fine. It totally works. It's not a problem at all. I think it just they just come like that. I don't know. <laughs> Tinfoil. That's what we needed. Was it supposed to be Saran wrap? Or <laughs> Kevin, Kevin. It's okay, man. Just like circular brain. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. I mean, we all go through it, right? We've all been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've been there. You know, I, you remember? You remember that time okay, look, that I look. fell into a whole like pile, a whole pile of saran wrap. It was hey, really hey, silly. We're trying so, to have a conversation, yeah, it's man. It's really rude. It's really rude, man. It's. He's fine. He's fine. I remember I was. I, 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 was just, I don't feel thing. fine. Uh, so guys, did some? Hey, is uh, Kevin okay? Uh, He's fine. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> works for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. Did you hear that? Did you feel that? Oh, I felt you that. You had to feel it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think I think yeah, the yeah, tire's yeah. blown. Yeah, I think we gotta pull over and check that oh, out. Oh wait a minute. No, no, no. We got I gotta make that doctor's appointment. I waited six months to go to the doctor. I am not missing it for anything. I know. <laughs> you found yourself in Tinseltown. <laughs> oh great! <sighs> Tinsel Town? Yes! Lots of tinsel here to sell or buy. <laughs> well, well, that was even in the road. <laughs> it's hey, there is some tinsel in the road. Look at that. Huh. I wonder if that's what caused the tire to blow. It did. <laughs> Shoot, did you right, plan well, there? Yes, it's part of my business plan. <laughs> Pretty obvious. You know, I, I kind of feel insulted because uh, that's a kind of rude business plan. What? But it is tinsel. <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, uh, sir. Uh, we, we've had the quarterly report ready, and it turns out that putting tinsel in the road so that it yes. wrecks people's cars, not a huge stream of revenue. No. Uh, uh, people actually will not pay for that service. Some of them will pay to avoid that experience. Oh. Uh, so maybe we want to make some different strategic decisions going forward. Okay. What do you suggest? Uh, maybe instead of tinsel in the road, we put, uh, like broken glass or something? Or we it? cut to that. Glass! Glass! <laughs> Drive on the glass! 
So, for whatever reason, I like driving over glass a lot better than tinsel. So. It's actually I, sorry, I'm, I'm just doing some opinion research. Uh, on a scale of one to five, would you say you've enjoyed driving over the glass, or? I, uh, I mean, it made I'll put that out as a five. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Four. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of messed it up in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you waiting? Yep. Um, oh, God, can, do you mind if I sneak by you? I, I really gotta go. Oh, uh, sure, that's fine. Oh, thank you so yep. much, thank yep, you. go ahead. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, gosh, is there a line? I really gotta go. Yep. I mean, you, nope. Nobody waiting. Yep. I gotta go. Yep, you, gotta go. you really gotta go. Oh, okay. That's so much better. Oh, you look like so you need to go. So it's open now, you can go ahead. Beer here! Can I interest you in a nice, cold, wet beer? Slosh, slosh, slosh. I'll take a Just beer. Just a cup of liquid. There you go. Thank Have you. a cup of wet liquid there. Just wet, wet, runny liquid. Drip, oh, drip, man. drip, drip, oh, drip. Oh my! I forgot to turn the fountain on. Oh good. Yes. This is. These are all helpful and things. Want another beer? Oh, oh look! Really it's really thirsty. Like start, starting to drizzle a little bit. Oh good. Rain inside. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is place. Is anyone? Uh, you don't mind if I cut ahead of you? Do you? Oh my God. Wow. Well, why do I insist on going to the bathroom at the water park? <laughs> All right, pranksters, get in here. <laughs> All right, <laughs> We're gonna do a new prank, a new one. They're gonna figure out our old no. one. Someone put ketchup in the coffee maker, and that's oh. pretty much the peak of pranks around here. That's amazing. I wanna hear some new ideas, new ideas for pranks. Uh, ketchup in the toaster. Come back to me, come back to me. They don't all have to do with ketchup. Um, okay. uh, mustard in the coffee maker. All right, it's not just condiments, people. What about gum on the parakeet's wings? Oh, good answer, good answer, good answer. All right, pranks are uh, clever, pranks are not just things on things. Wait, 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 wait. What about an explosion? Yes. Ooh. Um, an explosion of confetti. Conf confetti. confetti. Yes. I'm, I'm seeing red. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. Yes, something. red confetti. Red confetti. Fireworks. Confetti. Yes, red confetti. Yeah, explosion of fireworks. Also Hot red. Dogs. Just about. Hot just dogs. as someone is about to fall asleep or use the toilet, fall asleep on the toilet, and then the fireworks go off. <laughs> just as someone is going to fall asleep on the toilet. Wow. <laughs> I, I, we're Flawless. just brainstorming here. I'm trying to hard to picture it. Actually, I can see it now. <laughs> and that's our show! together is called Party Quirks. And in this game, Ben and Colleen are going to host a party. What should the theme of their party be? Ketchup. Ketchup. Ketchup party. Ketchup party. <laughs> all right, all right good. Sure, all right, ketchup party. <laughs> all right, so we're, they're gonna we're, leave, we're gonna leave, and here's gonna get you when you're done. So they are gonna be hosting a party. All the other improvisers from both troops are going to be guests of the party with the quirks that you gave us during intermission. Remember that? Good, it was on the test. <laughs> um, okay, so we've chosen your suggestions for 10 guests, and Ben and Colleen will have 10 minutes, 10 minutes to guess all of the guests. So if they get close, snap if they're in the right direction, okay? Because we need you guys to give us feedback. So if Ben says, if it's their Harry Potter and he says Dumbledore, snap, you know, snap. You can snap with me, come on, snap. That's close, please snap, thank you. <laughs> My Jed Bush moment, okay. Uh, clap if they get part of the answer, like if it's tired Harry Potter and they get tired. Clap. And if they get the whole thing, cheer, okay? Yeah. Does that make sense? So if they're a little bit right, snap. More right, clap. All the way, cheer. And once the host guesses, guesses both parts of the guest's name and quirk, they're going to leave the party, okay? Does that make sense? So now we have to figure out who the guests are. Our first option is Madonna is painfully shy. Who wants to be Madonna, who is painfully shy? Thank you. Our next guest is The Rock, who begins every sentence with the letter B. 
The Rock, who begins every sentence with the letter B. Our next guest is Mary Poppins, who picks her nose. Mary Poppins, who picks her nose. Our next guest is Adele, who can only turn to the left. Hello, it's you. <laughs> All right, our next guest is Rocky, but he only speaks in pig Latin. Rocky, who only speaks in pig Latin. <laughs> Our next guest, you know, these are guests we've all had over, right? Uh, we've all had Taylor Swift sick but trying to hide it in our home. Taylor Swift sick but trying to hide it. Our next guest is Dracula with the hiccups. Dracula with the hiccups. <laughs> and our another guest is, what, this is a big guest list, Woody from Toy Story, who can only talk while walking. Woody from Toy Story, who can only talk while walking. Okay, Thor, who sings everything he says. Thor, sings everything he says. Julia Child, chews with mouth open. <laughs> All right, uh, Medusa who mimes. Medusa who mimes. Is that everybody? Is everybody that one? Yeah. All right, everybody hold up so see who they are. Great. Um, here, can you go get? Yep. Thank you. All right, should, should I go to Olivia? Go on that side. Yeah, we'll let the work. Should we go back to you? Just don't let, don't make sure, yes, yes, don't let, remember to hold it like this. Great. Uh, getting ready for our ketchup party, Ben. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's so great to have ketchup one month and then mustard the next month, and yeah. then I really relish the third month. Oh, if you know what I mean. You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so I got the hamburgers here, and I've got the falafel here. Just have a giant bowl of ketchup. Right, that you put the ketchup on. Oh, you got it, got it. Yeah, right. Ketchup. You put in the beer, you put in the wine. And in the coffee. Yeah, and in the, the brains that are over there, too. Where do guests get in here? I don't know, sometime. <laughs> there's one here. Oh, there's one here. Let's go ahead. Hi, welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Oh, you're so quiet. Like a virgin. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, Madonna. Yeah, um, it's nice to see you, Madonna. <laughs> you look better than ever. Yeah. And it's nice that you vogue all the time, too, you yes. know? And dance. And don't say very and much. Don't say very You're very shy. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I. Uh, come on in. Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Oh, no. <laughs> Taylor, what's wrong with your stomach? Oh, right. Oh, I was like, that's familiar. No. Nothing's wrong. Oh. Nothing's yeah. wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we got another guest. Yeah. Oh, there's some alpha seltzer over there. Oh, hello. I just took my umbrella in. I just took the umbrella all the way here. Wow. <laughs> oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. Um, yeah, we, we, we put the ad out while we had the children, but then we put them in the pound, so I, I uh, guess we don't need... Oh. That's not how you should treat children. <laughs> oh, yeah, do, would you like a uh, handkerchief? Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Do, you. do you just enjoy picking, you know? <laughs> Yeah, here, take the handkerchief anyway. Okay, thank you. You can put it in your bag when you're done. Hey! Hey, hey Fonzie! Hey. Oh. oh. Thanks, yeah. they all for having me, eh? Hey. Not Fonzie? <laughs> oh, nay! Oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard when you have to speak pig Latin all the time, yeah. Uh, and you, 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 you speak English, eh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Adriele! Adriele! Oh, yeah. Ray! Oh, oh Aki Ray! Hey. Oh, Aki Ray! Oh, Aki Ray! Ray! Well, I should be off. All right, bye. Bye, bye Mary. Uh, see, see if you can find the kids. All right. Hi! Bro! Hey, hey, look at him! Yeah. Yeah. I saw that guy outside. He looks really, really strong. Like me, I'm really strong. You yeah. Know? Like, he seemed really strong. You must have a lot of, you know, strong friends. And yeah, everything. well, yeah. you and him, and maybe some others, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, who's coming to the be. party. We have Taylor Swift over here who has um, appendicitis I or don't. Crohn's disease, who d is not. Well, I, I, honey, not let's, get, let's okay. get the doors. Somebody has right, the doors. Why don't you two yeah. hang out? Yeah. Come on in. Hello. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hi. <laughs> Uh, hi, Bella. <laughs> Bella, Nicholas Cage, <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> Dracula, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, um, I have something 
for that. If you got the hiccups, I get a paper bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Blow into it. And you should see this Bella Lugosi version of your your life story. You will love it. I must go <laughs> investigate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. How many? How are we doing? Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too. I don't know if you saw my recent movie with Kevin Hart. Uh, Do you have any fish? I only eat fish. I eat like 12 pounds a day. Because you are a killer whale. Mm. <laughs> no. Coffee. What? What? Best Would you like coffee. another? You want? Oh, Philip, uh, ca yes. Careful, the oh, coffee God. has ketchup in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta get the door. Oh, let's get the door. Oh, oh, Come on in. Hello. Hi, Adele. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Uh, have you come in through the other side? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, where is the bathroom? I, need uh, the bathroom. I believe Taylor is. Oh, no. Taylor's out now. Oh, Great. it's over there? Uh, okay. Be careful of the saran wrap, though. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> you just can only turn left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it now. Uh, bye. 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 Uh, it's there if you need it. Yes, sir. Very yeah, I know. It's, uh, it might be that we have too much ketchup. Yes. Oh, hello! Hello! hello. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm quite famished. Oh my, you've braised the hamburgers. Yes. I Let me try. Are you Guy Fieri? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it could use some work, but I have a knife here and we'll just slice some onion. Oh, and we'll put it uh, over I do not room. have the cooking the channel. Yeah, no, I don't either. Why, well, thank you. I was trained classically. Oh. oh, yes, Julia Child. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm Julia Child with the onion. I, you mm. really like mm. onion mm. on really everything. Fun. I think that's just normal mm. Julia Child. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try some of these chips, which you call French fries. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Are, have you been living in England too long, no, Julia? Oh, not in England. They do chew with their mouths open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to take a few of these, just yeah. this tray, and take, them yeah. and take them to my kitchen. Yeah. Enjoy, oh. enjoy, enjoy the spy work. Thank you. I'll see you at WrestleMania. It's a deep cut. Mm. <laughs> uh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania. That's something I know a lot about. Yeah, Hulk. Yeah. The Rock. Hogan. The Rock. Oh. Oh, yes, bro. Oh, yes. Bro. Yes. Beautiful. Brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Oh. You guys, oh. you guys may have all uh, I think we have somebody at the door. Welcome. I'm not a horse, but I think I'm Norse. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody boom, else was boom, not boom, Thor. Boom, <laughs> so maybe you are Thor. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Thor. Great I hammer. Got a big guy. Wow, I yeah. think that all Marvel your, movies your, shouldn't be a musical. Yeah, right. That's <laughs> right. And your melodies are wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Lovely, Thor. Thor! <laughs> yeah, it's hard when you can't stop singing. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, bro, you're built. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the same. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so so the Thor rock. can't stop singing, right? Woo! Yeah. yeah? Are you kicking me out? Yeah! Good to see you, Thor. Okay, we, uh, The Rock here. Uh, so what about me, though? What about you're really me? Are you really friendly? Uh, or you compliment everybody? Mm, oh, that's just your personality, boo. Boo. Yeah, you, you only like speak things. in one syllable words. Brother, no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! Gotta go. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's hard when you can't talk. No? Okay. And like to mime. Because <laughs> yes. you're Marcel Marceau? No? no. You, you are. I see you. You are climbing, you are fiery, you are a snake. You are Medusa! Wait. Bye Medusa, thanks for helping I'm glad we're wearing those Medusa sunglasses. Besties, yeah. listen, I think she's gonna throw up or something. I'm not gonna oh, it's fine. Here. You're it's not fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. You are in Are you in denial? Being nauseous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. You should go home. You're right, I should go home. <laughs> best singer ever. Best. You can yeah. you think everything is the best. The best? Boo, oh, no. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> anymore. No more guests. <laughs> oh, no. Wouldn't it be nice if somebody could come back to our party and help us figure out who you are? Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, welcome back, Taylor. Blech. Blech. Ooh, oh, nice. Do you like to say words that start with B? Thank you. With two minutes to spare. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
too many vapors. All right, that is our show. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, OK, great. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you to our host, Artistry. Thank you for being here. Thank you to the Voice Water Club for coming from And if you're interested in more Valley Improv shows, you can sign up for our newsletter, which we'll bring out, or you can do it at valleyimprov.com. So thank you all for being here. Happy April Fool's Day. Thank <laughs> you.